私たちの運命はこんなところで完結しないなぜなら私たちの運命Ah. Hi everyone, I'm going to react to Bungo Stray Dog Season 5, Episode 10, Inhuman Demons Part 3. <laughs> Last episode. <sighs> Fyodor turns out to be alive, which I knew he wasn't dead. And now he has turned the table on Dazai and Sigma. Now they're the ones trapped and the water coming in. So I'm like, I'm super excited. Like I'm super curious to see how they're going to get out of it because um, I'm pretty sure they're going to get out of it. There's no way Dazai is dying and there's no way Sigma is dying as well. Because uh, I, I, I really have this feeling that he's going to join the detective agency. Like that's where my mind is currently. Um, Fukuchi stabbed Fukuzawa. I'm not gonna believe that he's dead. Um, they, the, the, the vice captain, Teruko, Teruko revealed to Asushi what the, the, the real goal of the Dikyo of Angels is. And he's like, she opened the door. He stepped out of it and he's like, I'm gonna go find the press, tell the president what happened. And he's gonna, you know, find a, a solution. He's gonna figure out what to do. And I'm like, yeah, the president is being stabbed over there. And then you had um, Rampo and uh, Kunikida and Tanizaki being hostages. So it's like, yeah. And then um, Fukushi also called the people and told them to release the one order. So that's happening as well. So I, I don't know where all this is going, but there's no way that I dead. So, before we get into this episode, if you guys have my reaction, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and, and if you want to see all my full lives and early access and everything, uh, it's uh, patreon.com slash filmini. And now, let's start this episode. And here we go. Okay, guys, in case the reaction gets blocked and I had to cut out the reaction itself, you can just look in the pinned comment in the comment section where for the link to the reaction highlight itself. So you can just click on it, watch it, and then you just come back for my review. Land of Inhuman Demons, part three. Yeah, your dad sucks. I'm about to say that, sister. Okay, he's there. Where are they? How'd they get there? Why are they there? Computer in black. <laughs> is it faking being under control of Fukushi? Uh, but what, what, how would he fake it? What would his eyes be vampire ish looking like? I don't know. Because, I mean, unless I'm about to say, unless Fukushi was like. Mm -hmm. Okay, so unless Fukushi was like, um, don't hurt. Does Fukushi even know that Aya is with Bra Bram? So I don't remember him knowing that. So what would he tell? Um, I'm not forgetting his name. I just said his name. <sighs> what would tell him? Tell him not to hurt uh, the, the, the girl to keep her alive or something or other. I don't know. Or is is a part of him fighting Akutagawa? Is a part of him fighting the vampire thingy? What 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 happened? An explosion? He didn't get a ch Oh, 
When did he have a gun? I don't remember having a gun. Are you sure? Probably giving him... Can you pry it open? Okay. Uh, all that strength that you're exerting should be also sapping your oxygen, right? Okay. Uh, are you? Okay. What the freak? Well, I shouldn't be surprised. This thing is supposed to keep people from escaping. Oh, why is that guy so cool? Uh, Daza is occupied. Why does it look like he's where Aya in? Okay. For some reason, I thought he was up there, but at least he saw them. Ah, oh, freaking frack. Nagutagawa. Boy, snap out of it. Russian? But he did say that his thing also is touching. Like if he touches, you can use his ability. Wasn't that what I was saying? I don't think that's if you touch him. Well, who did he tell you? そなたが気絶しているあとは鏡に姿が映らぬとか。does this gonna hurt him? Yeah. Ah, oh, but he knew. What? Huh? 
界に開いた黒い穴だったロシア語のメモが落ちていた Oh my gosh, is that supposed to activate something in him? What is going on? I'm so confused. See, I, was, I said the same thing. No. Did it stop short from hitting him? Don't touch it. I don't trust it. なんでも読み取ってください。僕に触れて情報を抜き取ってもらって構いません。されました。Then you said you, you can't oh the door can't open or something. Uh, and pull you around along with him or something like <笑><笑> Huh. What? That did not happen. I, I, I don't care what they just showed. That did not happen. coming out it wasn't enough
kind of want to jump into the next episode, but let's talk real quick about this one. Um, okay. First off, I refuse. <laughs> like, I really refuse to believe that Daza is dead. You know what I was thinking? At the end there, when Aya pushed the thing off over the thing, and then I was thinking, okay, assuming, okay, assuming that Daza is dead, assuming that Fukuchi is dead, Akutagawa was dead until they turned them into a vampire, okay? So, if they were dead, and then, oh shit, something going to my eye. If they were dead, and Aya had um, succeeded in freeing Bram, then he could turn those two into vampires and then then, then they're all back to life you know but yeah there is no way (laughs) i refuse to believe there has been there has to there has got to be some kind of trickery when it comes to even though i know he was like right next to the eye you know pointing his head the, 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 the gun at his head you know and he shot sort of like point blank and why not I refuse to believe that Daza is dead. There he's too cool of a character to just die by the hands of Truya. No, 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 that's not happening. Okay. But I was wondering how Truya, not Truya, how Daza and Sigma were going to get out of the trap that they were in. And they were in the water. Um, there was uh, some kind of um, inflammable thing. Now there was fire, so they were pushed to go under, 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 under water. If you go back up there, since the fire has sort of like burnt up all the oxygen, if you go back up, go back up there and you try to breathe, then all the oxygen inside of your body is gonna, and then you're gonna die. And so that's why it's like keeping him, no. But then he was pointing at the gun that Sigma had. I'm trying to remember when exactly he got that gun. I don't remember him having that gun. Or when exactly he got that gun. But either way, he had a gun and he used that gun to sort of like shoot at the at the wall or something or other like that. But that wasn't gonna do anything underwater. So what Dazai did was sort of like used um he took the gun away from Sigma, used it used Sigma as sort of like a launching pad or whatever to get to the the um the whole whatever to shoot at the mechanism that was keeping the the, the, the thing close the not the rope but whatever core thing that was keeping the door closed tightly or something or he was shooting at it and then with him shooting at it, it was sort of like loosened the, the the doors a little bit and then sigma pushed it out and then he, they got out but just as they got out now the thing started falling and then the Zai pushed sigma out and he's like i promised i will keep you safe i'll save you or something or other like that and so he did that that's i fell um he was bleeding and he you know back up against the wall telling um Fyodor to was he put him out of his misery or something i don't know and then he sent Truya there and at first does i try to go Truya into punching him so that they will make contact and he can cancel the vampiric ability or whatever that they had but Fyodor of course saw through that then he's like just kill him you know from a distance and then he shot at him and he sort of grazed his shoulder or something or other like that and then um well, I don't know who said it I don't know who said it oh um I think it was Fyodor that was telling him that you know you may you may have maybe you think uh was it saying that your time is up or something i don't know but yeah i think it's saying that your time is is basically up it's coming up or whatever and then the guy is like you don't know that maybe i could say something meaningful that was sort of that shock to ya into you know into regaining his senses or something or other like that and then Fyodor was like yeah hey, i try and that's when he started telling 
um, through yeah, that their time, their fate won't end up. This is not how they're supposed to end or something. I don't quite remember exactly what he said. But while he was in the middle of that, that's when you hear the gunshot. And then it looked like Daza is dead. And I'm like, no, he's not dead. Um, so there's that. Sigma, after he got out, he was like, there's really nothing I can do here. And then he finds this paper on the ground that was Russian that uh, says, help me. So he goes to um, Fyodor, shot at him. I'm like, if you're going to kill Fyodor, like shoot him already, like in the head or something. But you like, he shot him somewhere on, on, on the, uh, was it on the um, arm or something? I don't know. And then he's like, tell me. Um, what exactly did he say he said do something or i'll kill you or something or something or other like that i don't quite remember exactly what he said but he just wanted to know who fyodor was you know and he's like i found this you know and he says help me and then when fyodor saw that then he started like acting like you know he has a double personality and something or other like that and i think i sort of i believe that a little bit but then he turned the table around on sigma because he's like yeah i knew you would buy it <laughs> oh my goodness when he was saying that he was gonna um sigma he was saying that he was gonna touch fyodor and then glimpse information as to what he was gonna do against the detective agency i'm like don't do that because that's why that's i wanted to kill him first before uh, what the heck that's why that's i wanted to kill him first before he had sigma touch him because it's like that's his ability not as i um fyodor's ability probably has something to do with touching you or something or other like that so if you go to touch him then that means he's touching you so i'm like i don't think that's a good idea but then he he does that not does that what exactly are you saying fyodor actually volunteered himself for sigma to touch and he's like okay so what do you want to know it's like all your secrets or something or other like that and he there was this light that flew through him or something that went through him and then he sort of like collapsed on the ground and yeah so i don't know exactly what he glimpsed and all of that now you had bram and aya last we saw akutagawa was here on them and then the next thing you see bram is up there like for the whole world to see or for the detective agency to see and then aya was still there and he's like she's like so why am i still alive and i'm like yeah why is she still alive you know and i was going through all those things about you know maybe um he's not really a vampire he's playing a vampire but based on the conversation that or based on what asushi was saying to akutagawa it's, he's still the vampire but he's basically like fighting and he still has himself part of himself you know in there because of that promise that he made to associate about not killing anybody for six months that's probably why the girl was still alive and so um associate was trying to get through to him you know um, and but i don't think it was really working you know or maybe it was i don't know but either way he was stretching and uh, and associate lost his leg or in, in his arms or, or his hand or something i don't know He's, he can grow those back so i'm not i'm not really worried about that um oh, what else fukushi um got the chairman or whatever to unlock the one order and then he <laughs> i don't know why <laughs> when he like when the um the the thing was unlocked and then he had this um sort of like a walkie-talkie <laughs> thing and he's saying that i don't know what i thought the one order was gonna look like but it wasn't that and he just put the thing on and he just give out the order to everybody attack or something and now you have all these um military bases or naval forces or something like unleashing nuclear warheads on what i don't know but yeah i guess we'll see there was that moment where when aya was gung-ho about getting that sword out of um bram and then bram had this sort of a flash of 
someone that looks like Aya but older and he was calling I'm assuming Bram daddy or something father or something I don't know was that person Bram's daughter I'm assuming because when at first he didn't particularly care about having the sword get no by taking the sword out of him but then after he agreed when Aya wanted to do it and he's like didn't you say that you didn't care about the world he's like yeah I don't care about the world but then he was looking at her and he's like clearly care caring about her in particular so I feel like it's what she wants to do that's driving um that's what's driving uh, him right now that's why he wants to he wants his freedom I guess to stop what what's happening so yeah I don't think there's anything else so I'm gonna go jump into the next episode right now so I'll see you next time bye if I can get money